All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another quick video that I'm making. And today's topic is about set-driven keys. So set-driven keys, when it comes to rigging, helps us a lot. Because let's say, for example, for this antenna, we have multiple controllers here. And to get it all to collapse, we'd have to move them one by one. And that's not ideal for animators to be dealing with that. So what we would do instead is we'd use one controller that does it for us. And this, of course, controller can do a lot of things. So let's say, for example, if we translate, if we move this on Y axis, for example, we can have it, say, affected on the X axis and so on. We can do it on other axes as well. This is very handy for if you want to manipulate things using a controller. And of course, that's why set-driven keys are very essential. Now let's get to the actual part, which is setting up a set-driven key. To do that, we're going to select the controller, and then we're going to select each of these one by one, apart from the root here, the root controller, and go to the animation window here, click on that. And then we're going to click on set, and then set driven key. Now, if you're wondering how did I make my own shelf, I have another video on YouTube in my channel where I show you how you can create your very own custom shelf. We're gonna click on the set driven keys. Again, you go to the animation here, animation window or menu, and then go, you go to key, and then you click on set driven key and then set. A window like this should pop up. And this is where you can set up the driver, which is the controller the one that controls, and the driven, the one that's being controlled. So we're going to click on the controller here and load that as a driver. And we're going to do this one by one. As if you do it with multiple ones, it can break. So I'm going to select the antenna controller one here and load that one as the driven. And then we can later do this again with the other ones. So I'm going to click on the attribute here that we want to have it control, which is the translate Y for the antenna one controller. The key option here that used to be grayed out is now available for us. So we're going to click on that. And you'll notice here for the antenna one controller, the translate Y has a blue icon, which indicates for that it's been uh, that it has said driven key. So now that we have keyed it, we can go back to our main controller here and move it down. I moved it down to negative two. And then for this uh, antenna one, I'm gonna move this to negative 1.2. And there I have it. And then I key that. So now whenever I move this up and down, the antenna one controller is now, it has a set driven key now. So now we can move that. And now we're going to rinse and repeat the same steps that we just did now. I'll be speeding up the footage so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we're at the final step here, and I wanted to give you a cool tip. So instead of closing the set-driven key window whenever you want to do uh, another set-driven key for another controller, is we can do this. So since we have the set-driven key as our last operation, right, we can select the joint here and then press G, which what it will do is it will repeat the last operation that we had, so which was set setting a driven key. And then now we can load the driver here and load the driven and then have both of these translate Y and translate Y here, key them, and then move the controller down, move this here, and set this, uh, set the translate Y value here to negative 1.2, or we can move it a little bit because we want to have the, let's say negative one here. So because we want the tip of the antenna here to be shown. So click on key, and now if we close this window and move this up and down, we already have set up set driven keys. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to share the video, like, comment down below, and as well as subscribing to the channel for more my tutorials like this. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.